how to use Bookiepie invoice. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Bookiepie invoice. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Bookiepie, you can also use my affiliate link below the description where a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Bookiepie, it is an all-in-one invoicing and business management platform designed for small businesses and freelancers in which it offers a suite of features to streamline various aspects of running a small business, including invoicing, estimates, contracts, proposals, e-signatures, expense tracking, and many more. And the key features of Bookiepie include the ability to create and send professional invoices, estimates, and proposals as well as securely obtain e-signatures on documents. It also offers integrated payments to help businesses get paid faster with the ability to accept credit card payments directly through the platform. And now to start using this platform, just click the sign up button or the login button on the top right corner where you could also fill out all the required information in here where you could also log in using your Google or Apple ID. Then you will be directed in here after signing in in which all you need to do is simply enter here or fill out all of the required information starting with your company name. Then click the continue button and after that just choose your business type. I'm going to choose art, photography and creative services and choose the currency type in here. Then click the continue. And now, just proceed by entering here your first name and your last name. And after entering here your first name and last name, just click the continue button below here to proceed. And after that, we will now be able to be directed on this dashboard of Bookiepie, in which you will be able to see here on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating, such as dashboard, invoice, proposals, e-sign, estimate, and many more. But now, to start creating an invoice, just proceed by clicking this invoice option right here. Then we will be able to be directed on this page in which you should see here the list of your invoice that has been created. And to create your first invoice, just click this create button right here to proceed. And now from here, all we need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information starting to select our customer. But as you can see, I don't have any customer in here. To create one, just click this button. Then on this pop-up window, just enter the name of your customer, the business number, email address, phone number, additional information. You can also add here private note and also add here their addresses. Then click the save button below here to proceed. And after creating a customer below here, you can also enter or fill out all of the required information before this one is starting to this item. From here, we could also add here the item that we're selling, for example, shoes, which is Air Force One. And after that, just click create new item to proceed. Now on this pop-up window, we could also add here a photo of the product that we're selling and here the price product code for instance i'm just going to enter here 6009 and for the price let's say i'm going to enter here 200 us dollar and unit type i'm going to select none now moving on description you could also add here the description about the item of the shoes but at this point i'm just going to enter here limited edition then click the save button to proceed and after that from here you will be able to see the amount but you can edit the quantity, for instance, the customer purchased 200 or 20 a month of these shoes and the price of it is $200 and we will be able to see here the total amount which is $4,000 US dollar without tax. So from here to customize and adding a tax, just click this tax right here and in this pop-up window, we can also edit this tax type starting to this tax code. For example, I'm going to enter here, sales tax. Then below here, you could also enter the rate of this tax, for instance, 10%. And also, you could also add here the second tax if you want to. But at this point, I'm not going to add a second tax. Then click the save button to proceed. And as you can see in here, the amount due is now different since we have now added the sales tax amounting to 400 US dollar, which is 10% of our subtotal. Now moving on, if you also want to add discount and shipping, just click this discount and shipping button right here. And on this pop-up window, just enter here. We have here fix or percentage. So let's say I'm going to choose 2% for the discount. Well, for the shipping cost, which is taxable, I'm going to enter here the shipping cost amounting to $10 and click done. Now we will be able to see here. As you can see, we have now here the discount, which is 2% of our subtotal and shipping cost, which is also a taxable. Now moving on below here, you could also add here your note depending on your preferences. And you could also use some of these editing tools if you want to. And even a photo of the packages or the order of the customer. And now after filling out all of the required information below here, 
we can now proceed by moving on to the top panel which is this filling out this invoice number purchase order and any other details for the invoice number i'm going to enter here the date or the year which is 24 slash 401 in which it is important since invoice number provide a unique identifier for each transaction making it easier to locate specific invoices and maintain organized financial records now moving on under this purchase order we could also enter here but at this point i'm going to enter here j slash 301 and the letter j in here serve as the name john and 001 represent his first order and it is also important as the invoice number since purchase order create a detailed record of all purchases enabling businesses to track spending, manage inventory, and forecast future needs. Now moving on to date and due date. This due date is very important since this will show us the date for the customer need to pay us. And clear due dates on invoices provide transparency and clarity to both parties involved in a transaction. It ensures that the client knows exactly when the payment is due and the business knows when to expect the payment. In which it is also important to avoid late payments, maintaining healthy cash flows, and demonstrating rationalism. Now moving on on the right side panel, you could also navigate this overdue reminders just to remind on due date after 3 days or after 7 days. But at this option, I'm going to choose on due date. And you could also set these invoices as a recurring if the customer try to purchase this amount or this kind of transaction happens every week, every 2 weeks, 4 weeks, every month, and many more. And aside from that, from here, you can also add here a signature which it also signifies that the client has reviewed and approved the details of the transaction including the goods services provided quantities prices and the payment terms and now to proceed just click the continue button on the top right corner and upon clicking on it we will now be able to see here that the invoices has now been successfully created so this is basically what it looks like we have here the total amount due the item quantity prices amount and many more and as you can see from here, you could also request a deposit to your customer and which it is an important practice that secures their commitment, improves cash flows, reduces non-payment risk, and establishes trust and professionalism. Or you could also view the transaction if you want to, and even to mark a speed this kind of invoice. And aside from that, on the top panel, you could also click these three dots in which you will be able to see here an option to print, archive, copy, and even remove these invoices. Or you could also edit this one by clicking this edit button right here and we will be able to redirect it on this page in which you could also change some of the details if you want to including the discount the tax and if you're now done updating just click this update button to proceed moving on on the left side panel you could also navigate some other details or option including the proposal e-sign estimate and under tools you could also navigate create website and in here this credit note delivery note and purchase order but overall, that is just basically how you can use Bookify in creating invoice. Thank you.